YouTube. It's Kimberly. Welcome to week 36. Um, it is April 26, 2011. Um, I had my baby shower on the 23rd, which was this last Saturday, and it was really, really nice. Um, I uploaded part one and part two of that. If you haven't checked it out already, you can go watch those. Um, I did my labor and delivery tour on Sunday evening around 6 o'clock. And they showed me what room I would be going in when I got there, which is two hours before my scheduled C-section. And they'll do blood work and lab work and all that stuff. Give me my IV. I'll go ahead and register, even though I've already pre-registered, but they still got to take all your information again. But um, I'll go in for my operation. And then after I get done with that, I'll go back to that same room I came in when I got to the hospital and um, I'll be in there for an hour for recovery and then after that I'll go uh, to postpartum to a room until I'm ready to go home. Um, but my symptoms for this week um, have been acid reflux. Oh my goodness, anytime, it does not matter what I eat, what I drink, besides water, but um, it doesn't matter. I get like this burning sensation in the middle of my esophagus and it just gets more intense and it starts to kind of creep its way up and um, I've been having to like take Tums for it. <clears throat> haven't had any cravings over the last couple weeks um I'm kind of like backing away from food now for some reason like I just I don't have an appetite for it like I used to no more I guess with that you know because I'm at the end of my pregnancy so who knows um I've had a few headaches a few lightheadedness or a little bit of lightheadedness a little bit of dizziness um and um I've been getting more tired during the day because I haven't been sleeping that good at night. I've been um, waking up like all hours of the night. I can't sleep. I moan. I groan. I toss. I turn. Um, and I've been getting my most sleep between like 4, four and 8.30 in the morning is whenever I've been sleeping the best. So that's when I get my most sleep. So I'm not getting very much sleep at all. Um, so I'm napping and getting more tired during the day when it's around lunchtime. Um, my bones, and let me know if any of you have experienced this, like, later, late in your pregnancy. Um, my bones, like, around my hip and my pelvic area, my tailbone, they literally feel like they're bruised or like they're a crack. Like, they're cracking or something. Like, they feel broke. And I don't know what's causing it. I'm assuming, from what I've read, it's because... He's trying to drop and he's getting into my pelvis a lot deeper and it's making my bones kind of move and kind of like make room for delivery. Um, but that's been something interesting this week that I've been dealing with. I have also had a little bit of back pain but not nearly as bad as I've been talking about. It's been more of that pelvic pain now. Um, I've been peeing so much. I literally have to pee every 30 minutes even if it's just a trinkle. Um, it feels like I haven't peed in 20 hours. <laughs> so I'm definitely having to pee a lot. Um, I had my doctor visit yesterday. Um, and it went okay. It didn't go the greatest because my blood pressure was 150 over 75, which is extremely high. Should have been no more than 130 over like 70 or 60 or whatever. But the top number was really, really high. So they had me lay on my left side for five minutes. Came back in, took it again. It was 130, the top number was. And then um, they took it again before I left, and it started going back up, and it was like 138. So I'm kind of like on bed rest. Um, it's not strict bed rest, but I have to take it easy. I can't do a whole lot because my heart rate will jump up. So she's let me to keep an eye on that and um, not do a whole lot. Um, let's see what else. Um... I gained two pounds since um, the 8th of this month at my last doctor visit. Um, I'm now 154 pounds. I started at 127, so I haven't gained the full 30 just yet. Um, I've had some mild swelling in my hands and my feet. Um, and I haven't dilated any yet. She checked me for dilation, and I haven't dilated yet. She said his head is still up there pretty high. Um, I'm still getting the Braxton Hicks a little bit. Um... She did do the group B strep test, and I'll know the results when I go back on the 6th of May, which will be my last doctor visit uh, before my C-section. Um, and then, oh, and she also showed me something. His heartbeat was like, um, 
it was normal this time. It was like 153, 154. But she showed me um, a part of my stomach where he was at, where he was moving while she was checking his heart. And it just had like a rhythmic um, motion to it. You know how babies have hiccups and it's like a doop, you know. Well, his were like, these weren't hiccups. This was him actually breathing inside of me, breathing in that amniotic fluid. And um, it was really, really neat to see. She said that was him practicing his breathing. So she said that's actually one a good sign because she said that's one of the things that they look for when they do a non-stress test on the baby is to make sure that they are um, breathing. So that's pretty interesting. Um, his weight now is probably about six to six and a half pounds. And his length is probably somewhere around 19 inches. Um, so he is... He is ready to come out of the oven. He is ready. <laughs> I'm ready for him. Um, that's everything from me and Caleb for this week, guys. It's been such a busy, crazy week with the baby shower and everything going on. And um, We uh, got his travel system in his car seat. And uh, I actually showed a picture of that on my baby shower uh, video. So I'll do a belly shot and then I'll let you guys go. And we'll see you all next week for week 37. Alright guys, so if you have any questions or comments, do that below, and if you haven't already, subscribe. Um, check me out on my Facebook fan page, that's where all my...